What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today we want to talk about a few different exciting things. Um, one, we're going to do a recap of our summer challenge and announce who the winners are at the end. And then we also have an exciting announcement. If you stay tuned and watch till the very end, you might find out. So we're going to start off by thanking everybody who um, enrolled in our summer challenge. It was by far our biggest challenge yet. Um, we had a lot of people um, enroll and get involved and every single time we put one of these on it has um, it's grown significantly so that is incredible and we thank each and every single one of you for doing that our community groups on Facebook are growing and growing I think they're over clear over 600 people now so that's incredible we are really looking forward to um, only continuing to grow that um, along with our other groups and things as well but thank you so much to everyone who got enrolled in this we are um, and we have been excited um, to get this video out to you we just had a lot of things going on and of course with the, the larger these challenges grow the harder it gets for us to choose those winners um, and for us to really get all that kind of stuff and in And to even just go through all of the submissions in general. I mean, we are only two people and, you know, so we can only work so fast, but we are so appreciative of everybody who um, participated in this challenge. Um, you guys, we can't thank you enough. You've, you've really shown us that what we're doing is, is is the right thing. Right. Okay, so as we did in the spring challenge, we also wanted to continue to do this in the summer challenges for ask people for video testimonials. We know um, we get a lot of feedback and a lot of great things from people saying they love the programs, they love the challenges, they love our coaching, um, but whenever other people hear it from your mouth, the power um, of video, is, you know, is when it, it is in, super incredible. Um, and we really, really thank you guys for um, for taking the time and to get out of your comfort zone um, and do that kind of video thing. It's not easy. Um, so you know, we do it a lot, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's easy. Um, it can be nerve wracking, and we understand that. But at the same time, each and every single one of the ones that were submitted, um, they were fantastic. So without further ado, we're going to show you um, who our winner is for the best video testimonial. Um, you're going to win a, a surprise package from Enlightened, so be watching for that, along with four weeks of one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So um, without further ado, here you go. Here's your video testimonial winner. So this six-week summer challenge has been um, way more than what I had expected when I started. My goal was to lose, a very broad goal, to lose a couple pounds, shed a few inches, and I've lost more than a few pounds, I've shed more than a couple inches, and I feel amazing. There's four different areas of this challenge that have um, really kind of changed my lifestyle. So the first one, which is going to be my biggest accomplishment, the exercise portion, specifically my core. So last year I had a premature baby who which resulted in an emergency C-section. It was basically, obviously, sliced open and my core has is gone, um, or at least it's weak. Well, when I started this challenge, I think it was the scissor kicks. Um, it takes, uh, we were supposed to do scissor kicks for like 20 seconds and I couldn't even get two seconds in and had to stop. And I thought, how am I gonna complete this entire challenge if I can't even do one core exercise? Um, but I took your guys' advice, I did what I could each day with each workout and pushed through it and eventually I am now able to do all the core exercises before we were even halfway through the challenge, I believe. Um, I can do all the core exercises and I do even more to continue to help strengthen, um, strengthen my core. So that would have, I have to say, is my biggest accomplishment. I always wondered um, after my C-section between then and now, like, what am I going to do? I would Google. I just, I had no direction. So you guys gave me direction on kind of where to start, what exercises to do, and I love that. So the second part of this challenge, this helped change my lifestyle, obviously, is the nutrition. Didn't even know what a macro was when we started. When I say we, I'm talking about my husband. We didn't know what a macro was, and um, we learned and we, um, it was challenging, and it is challenging to continue to count macros with a baby, um, but we do it, and we did it, and it's, we've seen results. And I feel a hundred times better, more energy, um, since, since just eating what my body needs. So you guys 
helping us with the science behind what our body needs and the education that we need on how um, to eat, but eat satisfying as well, has just given us a whole new outlook and we actually have fun in the kitchen some nights. <laughs> and um, so I love that, thank you. Um, the third area of this challenge that's helped me is the yoga. So with the yoga, I actually have a degenerative di disc in my neck a curvature in my spine and a slip disc in my back and um, my doctor actually recommended yoga and I just didn't think yoga was my thing or that I wasn't good at it really I didn't have any direction um, on where to start so Jenna um, the second half of the challenge where you encouraged me to do yoga and sent me the link on your recommendation has really helped give me direction to start this yoga it helps lengthen me sh strengthen me it relaxes me and I love it. I can already notice the difference. I can tell that it's going to help long term with my pain. And the fourth area of this is going to have to be the fasted walks. I don't always get to fast my walks due to my busy lifestyle and schedule. When I do, I love it. I know you've encouraged me to listen to something that inspires me. For me, that's Christian podcasts. Something I used to do before I had baby, but I haven't made time since I've had the baby. Um, and now just getting back into that is just really refreshing and reminds me that, you know, I can um, continue to do what's meaningful to me, you know, and taking care of that portion of my life while having the baby. And last but not least, I'm not a runner or never have been a runner. Um, my son has a passion for running and now doing this cardio and exercise, I am now running a 5K this August with him. So that's something that we can do together. I'm just thankful for that as well. I'm thankful for everything you guys have done um, for me and my husband, this challenge, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the results. Um, so hopefully we get to see those soon. Next up, we want to thank our grand prize winner. Um, she has really just gone above and beyond these last six weeks um, to give this challenge her all. Um, I've known her in the past. She's tried other programs. She's tried um, personal training. Uh, she actually came to us from a most recent challenge that she wasn't happy with. And so we were really excited to take her on board, you know, back to back from that other challenge. And we were really hoping for some great results. And we got that and then some. So congratulations to our overall winner. Um, this girl did fantastic. We um, both are extremely happy with her. Just overall effort and engagement. We see a lot of her, you know, interactions um, on posts on Facebook and in the groups and things like that. And we tell people all the time, it's not a requirement that you do that kind of stuff, but it's definitely um, it's something that speaks to how much you're trying because it is, it's one of those things, just like the video testimonial that takes you out of that comfort zone. So we really do appreciate your, your energy and your time and your effort um, in all aspects of the challenge. Um, From your nutrition to your workouts, I mean, your physical results show it, your mental results when you would just randomly check in with me to let me know how well you were doing and how excited you were for your progress as your coach. That was a really great feeling. And then we would wake up and we would even see your interaction, like Drew said, in the Facebook groups. And, you know, that really, really just put a big smile on our face. So without further ado, we are going to show you who our um, overall winner is. Hey guys, I'm here to talk about the six week summer challenge I did with Jenna and Drew and I honestly just want to start off by saying how truly amazing they are um, as coaches and as people that work together. Um, a couple months back I paid for a fitness coach who I found on Instagram. She had a substantial amount of followers. The results she would post, they looked good. Um, so I signed up and it was five weeks. Fast forward those five weeks, I was miserable and drained because my calories were so restricted and I was doing 45 minute cardio six times a week, then going back to the gym later and doing two and a half hour um, of training, weight training. I told myself, you know, if, if that's what I have to do, if I have to make those drastic changes and if I and if I have to work out three hours a day, maybe this lifestyle isn't for me. Like maybe I should just eat salads all day and just, you know, I, I was extremely confused. But uh, Jenna and Drew brought me back to reality and showed me that you do not have to restrict your calories in order to see results. And you certainly don't have to work out three hours a day in order to gain the muscle you want or, you know, tone up like you want, lose weight. But some coaches who you are paying for, who people are paying for, they will restrict your calories just to see, just so you see results. And 
Jen and Drew care about their clients um, a lot more than that. They truly believe in not just physical health, but mental health. You know, you don't need to be thinking to yourself, oh my God, like, how am I going to do this? I'm so physically and mentally exhausted. I can't get up and go to the gym. I, I can't get up and eat healthy food. So I'm just going to go through the drive through you know. They, they care about their clients. They have multiple support groups on Facebook where you can go in and, you know, post about how your day went, if you didn't have a good day, or if you had a good day, and you could read other people's posts, and, you know, up reading other people's posts at late at night after you didn't have a good day, and you read their posts about how they didn't have a good day, you know, it opens you up, and it lets you know, like, it is okay to be human. It is, their biggest saying is, it is a lifestyle, it is not a diet, and you can't live on restricted calories. You can't live on no carb. In long term, those things just don't work and they know that. They're smart enough people to where they know that just leads to, leads to people, leads their clients into a vicious cycle of binge eating, all that nonsense. Sometimes it's really hard, but Jen and Drew make it look really easy and I think that's what makes them such great people and such good coaches, you know. Um, they're always there for their clients and like I said, I think that is the number one thing. Okay, so. We are back and thank you Madison um, for your submission and all of your efforts and send us your shipping address. Um, we have a great package that we are going to send you um, that is full of a lot of different goodies, a lot of different companies that we have collaborated with such as. Yeah, a huge shout out um, to HelloFresh, Enlighten Ice Cream, Quest Nutrition, Low Carb Bread, and that's just to name a few. Now, let's discuss the elephant in the room. Obviously we changed, so we were doing this video outside and. Um, as always in Florida, it's very humid and hot, and we decided about halfway in that... And it actually uh, started raining in the middle of recording this whole video. We had to run under the cover, and so this is actually like the third take. Um, but anyways, if, if you didn't notice, there was a little bit of a timeline with like the sweat in the middle of my shirt. Um, so go back and check that out. If you didn't notice, uh, we'll wait. Okay, yeah. so as Jenna um, spoke earlier, we do have some other news, um, exciting news to discuss with you, so we will start with that now. Yeah, so uh, after a few things coming up over here in the Tampa area that kind of brought us back, a few meetings that we came back initially for this week just ended up kind of going well, I'd say. Um, so we have decided that we are moving back to Tampa. Um, Honestly, like some people say they expected it, but to be completely honest, we really weren't entertaining the idea at all until about three days ago. Um, there was a lot of things up in the air. We really did consider moving to Pena, and who knows, that still might be an option or opportunity in the future. But for right now, um, this is where we're just the most creative. We have a lot of um, connections and resources and great people, um, a great team of people that we've put together that we've been working with here in the Tampa area. So we want to capitalize on that. I wasn't in a lease, Drew is, so. At least until October. Yeah. So any of you painted people watching this, if you can find us a great spot that makes sense, we won't make any promises, but we'll entertain it. Yeah. Um, but in the future, we definitely want to come back and do more things um, like our boot camps. We will be um, back in the fall for that. We'll keep you posted on the yeah. date because there's still a few things tentative, obviously, um, depending on some projects we're working on. So the big news is that we're not moving to Panama, but we're going to be moving here to Tampa full time um, and continuing doing business and things that we're already doing. But we love and appreciate all the support no matter where you're at. We've got clients actually overseas and in like 10 or 11 different states. So it's going very good. It's growing. Um, um, but we always appreciate your patience and understanding as we grow, you grow, um, and we cannot thank you enough we for could, that. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without you guys. All of your support, um, just by even following us, like that is support to us. The fact that you're interested in watching our journey, um, it really means a lot to us. So that's all we got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next one. See ya. We're out. <laughs> I was going to do that.